It's dumpster diving time. Let's go. All right, guys. So I just found this table right here. It seems to be in great condition. Uh, it just needs to be like tightened a little bit, I think. And this one too. So we're going to go ahead and take them. It's a nice table. I like this one. It's a success. We put them in the car and uh, we'll take them. All right, guys. So I stopped at this pet store and uh, I was kind of going through the boxes and I noticed this box full of, uh, I think this is Gourmet Rodent Safety. Wait, I don't know. It's, it's natural diet, safe and simple feed, guaranteed fresh. Does this mean there's a rat in here or is this rat food? Okay, um, I think there's a, <laughs> oh my, I think there's a dead mouse in here. Ah, oh, there's blood. Okay, I love all types of animals. I don't have anything against uh, mouses or rats, gerbils. I used to have gerbils when I was little, but I am really starting to think that these are dead mouses in bags. I guess to feel like snakes or other animals that eat mouses. But why would they throw the dead bodies? I mean, why not feed the animals, the snakes or whatever that are gonna, you know, that consume mouses. I can't believe we found dead mouses in packages. That's crazy, all right. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out. I, I didn't know that mouses were sold like that in packages. So all those mouses kind of died for nothing, I guess. You think about it. All right, let's see what's in this mystery box. Or treasure chest. <laughs> I can't say that we're so fast. Uh, there's some clear bags over there in the back. I think it's those clear bags that I like, the ones that are kind of like mystery bags that contain like stuff that were returned or they're like damaged, like very little or whatever. And that's the reason they toss them. So I think I'm gonna jump in there to try to check out those bags. Let's go. I'm telling you, my trashy intuition told me there was gonna be something in here. And it was right. <laughs> so I jumped in here and then I see a cable, a Spider-Man toy. Uh, the box is in there for the Spider-Man toy actually. So it's probably a return and there's like some other stuff. So we're going to open this bag at home. Let me know if you like whenever I open these boxes on video. I truly believe that we saved some items from the landfill that did not deserve to go into the trash. On to the next one. I made a quick stop because I saw these colors and they really grabbed my attention. Uh, oh, check that out. It's like a little basketball court game thing. So yeah, we're going to take this for sure. Look, and it seems to be complete too, so let's grab it. There's also uh, what seems to be like a, some kind of speaker. And also this thing right here is broken, so I'm not gonna take it, but I like the little bins. I feel like a lot of uh, people that like cars, they might wanna get the bins to put the toys in there and stuff, and they fold. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We saved half of it. That one's empty. Let's pick up this trash to make it cleaner. Uh, I guess I'll toss this into the dumpster. Um, leave it cleaner than what it was when we got here. Okay, this has to be one of my favorite dumpsters. And from what I can tell right here, it's pretty full. Let's see if there's anything in here. <laughs> um, all right, so let's, let's open it up. Go over it seems to be trash come on dumpster give me something some hangers and these donuts and these donuts uh, I guess you can still eat them but it's really hot outside so maybe I'll just take one all right guys so I decided to take all three packages and I just want to show you that they have not even expired. They don't expire till June 9th of 2022. We are in June, June 1st. Well, at the time of recording this video is June 1st. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all three packages and we'll just throw them in the freezer. Okay, so we're back at my favorite dumpster that belongs to a thrift store and check this out. There's a Sumba classes, the DVD edition. Um, let's 
see what else we can find. Last time we found video games in my previous video. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out on my channel. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. Bunch of socks. Alright, so I'm going to use this bag to place things in here. So anything we find, we'll put it in this super bag. Check this out. Check this out. Another video game for PS4. We'll take it. Okay guys, so I saw this box right here inside this dumpster and it seems to be uh, some kind of like, I don't know, a swing for a little kid or whatever and I noticed that it's, it looks sealed from both sides so I'm going to jump in there real quick and see if it's, if it's in there or if it's just one of those mind tricks. Okay, so it is sealed. This part seems to be sealed too. <laughs> So my trash intuition was correct. One more time, we're taking it. Let's go. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do a real quick voiceover because I was trying to be very discreet and very quiet at this dumpster. Right away, I saw there's a whole bunch of great stuff and I don't want an employee coming out and telling me to leave because there's so many good stuff in here. Like you can see there's a water hose, there's a whole bunch of cooking pans, plants, pots, and so many things. I'm gonna show you at the end of this video what I found inside this dumpster. So make sure you stick around all the way to the end. That's coming up okay so we stopped at a burger place called a wild burger not sponsored but should be maybe one day we'll see so we're gonna grab something to eat and then after that we're gonna head home and check out everything that we found i'm gonna lay it out for you i'm excited i hope you're excited too we were productive good morning good morning so today is the next day yesterday after diving i went to go visit my parents and i stayed there the rest of the afternoon but today is shipping day these are items that i found in the dumpster that i sold online either through ebay or facebook marketplace everything's clean sanitized in great condition and also all my shipping supplies the boxes the tape the poly bag the bubble wrap inside all that stuff was found in the dumpster so i saved a whole bunch of money by doing that and i really want you to consider that if you do resale or sell online Line. Uh, consider picking up your shipping supplies from a dumpster because you will be helping out the environment and you will be saving a lot of money. Hey, so real quick guys, uh, I found this shirt in the dumpster and at first I didn't know what ISAF meant, but after doing a quick Google search, I found out that it was a group of American soldiers that were on a mission to protect Afghanistan. So that is pretty cool. And I have no idea why someone would throw this part of history into a dumpster. Shout out to any military families watching my channel. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what we found in that see-through bag that we picked up. I have no idea what's in here. My trashy intuition once again tells me that there's gonna be some stuff, but we'll see. What caught my attention was uh, this box and this Spider-Man toy that was in there. And once again, we have a uh, chocolate in our items, but like you saw in my previous video, this is very easy to clean. So we have the box and the toy. If our only problem is the chocolate, then we are good to go because that can get fixed very easily. Um, some stuff is probably gonna be broken, it's gonna be trash, but all these boxes uh, we're gonna recycle, so we're gonna dispose of them uh, the right way. You see what I'm having here? How much stuff that can be recycled? Uh, let's see. There's some kind of game with fishes. 
Okay, so this, I think it's part of this game. Now let's see if we have all the fish. There's a whole bunch here. We just gotta clean them. Some water and soap. Uh, here is a PJ mask. So a PJ mask action figure. I think I saw the box somewhere over there for that one. A little keychain. A little box over here, recycle, 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 plastic, cotton, uh, more recycle. There's a toy in here that's sealed. It's like a collectible, I think. Uh, we'll find the box to that, maybe. I'm guessing it's supposed to be in here. Uh, these little fish, more. Okay, so upon further inspection, I found another of these little PJ Masks figurines in this paper right here wrapped. So we have, uh, we have the boxes for both figurines. We have both toys. Also, I'm not too sure what this is. Um, I think it might go with the PJ Masks because it's wrapped in the same kind of paper. So that's pretty cool. Also, uh, this little baby that we found that's covered in chocolate, uh, it's a uh, Barbie. We actually found the little container that it's supposed to go in and these little accessories that are sealed and we have the manual, so that's pretty cool. The fish, the brand new marker, the Spider-Man toy we're gonna clean in a little bit and uh, arts and crafts, <laughs> a little keychain and a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna recycle the right way <laughs> all right check it out so uh we clean them and it's complete it works i put batteries that i found in my previous video by the dumpster so there you go 100 percent recycle it's complete and i'm gonna be sending these guys at my yard so it's pretty cool right <laughs> what are you throwing this away okay guys so this is what we found in that one dumpster where uh, i was kind of quiet because the door is very close to the dumpster so i don't want any employees coming out again it is legal to dumpster dive in my city but if an employee tells you to leave you do have to leave and i don't want to get a warning because i want to continue going check out these um pants that we got cookie skillet kit they uh, just toss them into the dumpster. There's nothing wrong with them, but since they have like the Christmas holiday theme going on, instead of marking them down or giving them to the employee, they tossed it into the dumpster and uh, we save them. So these are actually really good and you can use them for different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be during Christmas time or for cookies. You hear that sound? Those are good. So I'm glad we rescued those. There's a whole bunch of plastic plants. I like these over here, and even though the bottom part's missing, we can easily replace them with another different pot. These are uh, plastic. These are pretty pricey. And uh, I'm glad I saved those because those are pretty cool. These right here, there's nothing wrong with these. These are actually uh, not broken. I just got to clean them a little bit. They have a little bit of dust. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We also got these pots. I'm gonna keep these because I planted uh, red bell peppers and the plants are going pretty quickly. So I'm gonna have to put one plant in each pot. So yeah, I'm glad that I got that. Also some uh, gloves, new tags. This cup right here. I think that's Moana. And uh, this little... Um, Piggy bank, you put your dollars in there and then you can see all the dollars that you're saving through the glass. I guess once you start putting more dollars in there, it's not gonna be moving like this. Uh, but yeah, a yard sale item. Then this little angel right here. I think it's missing something on this side. New with tags. And then it turns on. <laughs> And I know some people might say, oh, these items are not worth a lot. You're not making a lot of money. But in reality, during a yard sale, it all adds up. For example, I once had this uh, customer lady that stopped at my yard sale and she bought for me $140 worth of stuff. Of course, she knew that if she goes to the store and she buys the things that she was getting from me, she's gonna pay way more. She knew I was giving her great deals. She took a whole bunch of stuff and I made around 140 something dollars just in less than 50 minutes just with her. So yeah, it all adds up.
And the toys that we found in that clear bag, the set right here, the Barbie set, I put it in this clear bag all together. Some of it is sealed. Also, these PJ Masks, I put them back in the box. They wanted $5 for each toy. And I'm gonna sell them on my yard sale, so probably for a dollar or two dollars, I don't know yet. But I put them back in the box and they are complete. And this little fish game right here, I put batteries, it works, it's all complete, it's clean. By the way, guys, remember those donuts that we found in the dumpster? They don't expire till July 9th. I put them in the freezer. They are 100% sealed and they taste delicious. Hmm, there you go. I love living in a world where there is free donuts. By the way, guys, I did see that my channel now has over 300 subscribers. Whoa, that is a crazy number, especially because I just posted my first video two weeks ago. So these are numbers that I never thought I was going to accomplish, especially this quickly. What? Thank you so much for uh, checking out my channel, Thrift Kingdom. You are royalty in my kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. And uh, I really appreciate you. Just know that I really appreciate you being here. If you really like dumpster diving content, if you like this video or if you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. That's really going to help out my channel and consider subscribing. Thank you so much. And remember to sell your stuff or donate your stuff. The landfill already has way too much. It doesn't need any more. And remember to recycle. See you on the next time.